Socrates once said that the only true wisdom is in knowing that you know nothing. And if that is the case, then my parents came as wise as they come. My mother tells my father at 3 a.m. on a subway platform in New York City that she is pregnant. And my pop says, okay, what do you want, Nana? And she says, I want my kids to never have to worry about where their next meal comes from. I want them to know more than this studio apartment with a single mattress on the floor we got as a wedding gift. I want them to know more than spaghetti and hot dogs for dinner. And my pop says, okay, let's do it. Now, my sister was born premature with a hernia. When I was born, my mother was advised because of spinal issues that she should have a C-section. She said no. When I was 12, my brother passed away by the time I was 13. My mother had had four spinal surgeries and spent close to a full year lying on her stomach. I was four foot ten and had a Jufro until the 10th grade. I was, the only, I was also the only Dominican in New York City to know the entire Bar Mitzvah prayer by heart. I locked my sister in a closet once for three hours. I almost lit my building on fire when I was 10 because a game of house got really real. I spent my 21st birthday in a seven-day silent retreat. I got arrested for writing a love poem, and I almost got married twice. Now, recently, someone asked me, Chris, do you believe everything happens for a reason? And I said, you know, I don't know. I want to say yes, but I don't know. And she said, why? And I said, well, because I'm here. Because you're here. Because of all the billions and billions and billions and billions of little things that have to happen in order to make that happen. So I try to resist the temptation to understand and just say, I don't know. But I got to say yes to it, to the good and the bad. It's like in Winnie the Pooh and Pooh's afraid of everything. And he says, but what if lightning strikes this tree? And Pooh says, yeah, but what if it doesn't? 